Hey guys, welcome back. Or just welcome if it's your first time to our channel. So once again, I'm the Dave half of Dave and Diane throwing caution to the wind. And today we want to share with you another gadget that we rely on a lot. And that's our Instant Pot. So I realize the Instant Pot is not just for our beers. And uh, the Instant Pot doesn't have to do with RVs in itself. But our channel is about the full-time lifestyle. And eating is part of our lifestyle. And the Instant Pot has become a great tool that we use a lot. So a little history to begin with. Back in our sticks and bricks days, I loved using a crock pot. I'd make chili and stews and lasagna and all kinds of things in the crock pot. And I wasn't about to give that up living this lifestyle. So when we first hit the road, we brought our crock pot with us. And it was a six quart crock pot. So then we started hearing about the Instant Pot. And uh, we became intrigued about it, but we weren't willing to give up the crock pot. So we decided to buy the Instant Pot, give it a chance for a month or two, and see if it could fit the bill for both items, the Instant Pot and the crock pot, because we didn't want to store both things in a limited amount of cupboard space. If you're RVers, you know how that is. After a couple of months, making some chilies and pot roast and whatever else on the slow cooker portion of the Instant Pot, we realized that it could take the place of the crock pot very easily. So the crock pot went away and we now carry the Instant Pot solely. So you might ask why even bother going from a crock pot to an Instant Pot? Well, the main reason is so many times you take off on daily excursions, whether it be a bike ride or a hike or whatever, and part way through the day we would look at each other and say, hey, did you take anything out for dinner? And so many times the answer was no. So with the Instant Pot, if the answer was no, now we can come home, grab something out of the freezer, whether it's pork chops or chicken or whatever it might be, and throw it in the Instant Pot frozen and still have a meal in a relatively short time and a good healthy meal. So that's been a saving grace numerous times. And since then um, I've started making a lot of other things too. So for example we eat yogurt a lot. So I typically eat yogurt 80% of the time for breakfast in the morning and Diane is probably 50% of the time. So and we buy, we always bought the yogurt at the store. And it's not a big deal, yogurt's not very expensive. But if you look at it over a year's time, if you eat it as much as we do, it really adds up on the grocery bill. So the Instant Pot now, uh, it's, it's cheap. You buy a gallon of milk, you make yogurt. So I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but I did a, I did a little study on what we spent on yogurt throughout a year and then what it would cost us to make it in the Instant Pot and the savings was pretty impressive. Uh, I don't remember it right now but I will share it with you at some point. In fact, you know, we're not a cooking show. This is not a cooking channel. This is about RVing but like I said, eating is part of RVing and yogurt is a big part of our life. So we will probably do a video on how to make yogurt in the Instant Pot you can find that already readily available out on the YouTube channels. Just do a quick search, but what the heck. We'll do a, we'll do a video ourselves, and uh, when I do that, I'll put, I'll put in the numbers that I did to show how much money we're saving per year by making our own yogurt. But anyway, that's it. We wanted to share this quick little video on our, our favorite little Instant Pot. And uh, hey, I'm going to put a, a link to the Instant Pot on Amazon and if you happen to click on that link and you're in the market for a Instant Pot uh, and you buy one through our link it won't cost you an extra penny at all but we could possibly get a kickback so and by a small kickback I mean 50 cents or something but uh, it's something we do to try to offset keeping a blog and doing the YouTube channel so uh, any help is appreciated. And if you click on that link and go shop for anything else while you're on there, we will probably get a small kickback on whatever you buy. So 
full disclosure, not a big deal, but uh, I wanted to make sure we were up front about that. Okay, that's it. Have a great day. Consider hitting that subscribe button. We have a lot more to talk about in our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.